she's on bread. That, that circle of love was so slow. I actually almost started to snore, but then again, everybody knows I do not snore. Uh, do not talk in my sleep. So anyone that thinks differently, um, would I just correct you here and uh, no. Others have tried to mislead you recently, but I'm making it clear, I do not snore. Good morning to each and every one of you. Beautiful, beautiful day in Barbados. Don't mind the overcast conditions. It's definitely absolutely stunning. Um, we had a lot of heavy, heavy showers this morning, some thunder and lightning. Um, you know, it was looking to be a lot worse, uh, or a lot heavier, a lot more difficult to deal with than this. Winds are strong, gusts are blowing the umbrella all around, but right now, it's calmed down quite a bit. So we're gonna have a beautiful morning, hopefully. Hopefully you sit back, relax, enjoy this here. Do not mind the people that try to mislead you into nonsense this morning. They are called the troublesome ones. You just remember um, to love me, to care for me, and to you know give me kudos for how good I look and stuff, and we will be all fine. So today I would like to talk a little bit about where we are. We just were here yesterday. I didn't want to say we, uh, we're taking up where we left off because then everybody would have known. Um, but I thought we would just do a little stroll into the Oysenstown area this morning um, because that way then I could find some roofs to shelter under and also hop from building to building to avoid all the strong winds that we're experiencing right now. Good morning to each and every one of you all. Hello, how are you going? As you can see, I have all my festive hat today because I'm trying to lift my spirits. Although I'm feeling really happy to be alive, it is good to actually come out here and cheer up with you all because it's a little bit inclement weather, but absolutely beautiful. I'm not complaining. By no means, because this is how Barbados weather used to be years ago. October, November, heavy, heavy rains. That was standard situation. We haven't had that for a long, long time. So I'm really happy to see the rainfall now. I'm not going to complain about it because I was complaining last year and saying it was too dry. I need some rain. So how could I possibly complain about it now? For those of you on the island, this is what happens at this time of year, standard. So, you know, I'm not saying it happens every day. This year is definitely heavier than normal, but what a beautiful beautiful place it is to be in the rain. I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be in the rain than right here on this rock. And you will see why in a second. As you can see, sea conditions today, ultimately beautiful. We are in a high tide right now. So the sea is not giving us much beach, especially on the lower section of Miami Beach. Um, so if you were up here today, it'd be very difficult to find anywhere ready to sit in the dry, except for right up on the trees itself. Um, but as you can see, all the blues have returned transparency is returned you can see the different shadowing of the different reefs and the depths out here just stunning in the distance there you'll see a big group that started out at miami beach and enterprise beach above actually at enterprise beach and are now working their way down into oysters this is a regular happening here waters this morning a little bit lighter than usual because of the inclemency the weather some have not come out but i know that in a matter of about half an hour so if it does clear up a little bit out here we'll be busy as well you know we're going to see our serenity prayer look in this direction um, you know, we like to start with that. So those of you who like to join us today, we will be saying our serenity prayer. But in my thoughts, I will have world peace in mind. Um, I'll be praying for all those up in Ukraine and anywhere else suffering right now from oppression and from um, violence and from wars, etc. And I'm going to pray for peace. And hopefully someone in influence will capture our video this morning and see what we are trying to send out the message. And hopefully they'll get something from it and make a change to the world if they have that kind of influence. You know, so we're going to say our serenity prayer now. Those who'd like to join me, please do. All others will be back to in a few moments' time. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Now I had an opportunity this morning because I was starting later because of the inclement weather that I could sit down and read and also because I'm close to home I could sit down and read the uh, preamble comments I don't get a chance unfortunately because my concentration goes straight in the vlog many times I miss the nonsense that you all are talking but this morning I can tell you <laughs> my in need of a strike list full and overflowing so you all better watch out be on good terms remember again if you want to stay on my good side you have to agree with everything I say uh, which starts off with I am the most handsome person in this world and of course the most knowledgeable. Um, I just don't share too much with you all because I don't want to flood you all with too much information so I keep it basic and simple. But that is why you sometimes forget everything. Um, I am one of these children that was born in 1971. 
on the 5th of April. So Facebook got it wrong. I don't know what happened to them. They somehow got my age wrong. They got it right there, but they got it wrong year. So I've been battling that for many, many years now since I joined Facebook. People tell me, are you older than that? But you can look at me and see. I'm a handsome 51-year-old person. And so I'm going to stick with that right now. And we're going to go with that. And anyone that agrees with that may get a love star today. But don't be going to mama guy me and pulling the wool over my eyes and give me these lovely kudos and sweetness and then all of a sudden stab me in the back with a vicious comment. <laughs> if you do that, you're going to feel a little stick in your side. That is me sticking you with one of my strikes. Yesterday we talked about the strikes, just to clarify a little bit more as well. Those that are accumulating more strikes will be suffering. When I say suffering, listen to their reward. Their reward is they're going to be buying me coffee and now cheese. I know they don't go well together, but I'm going to make you pay extra money. And you will be sitting there while I eat and sit and I serenade you with my own homemade songs. Of course, they are definitely winning awards this year. I normally go to crop over this year. I'm going to steal the show for sure. But don't worry about that. You will be getting all of my training and all of my lessons leading up to crop over. So get ready for it. Those of you who are on the island, if you see me coming, Either put a tonic water in front of me or pull a coffee because I come in for one of them. If not, you can get five hugs, not one. Anyway, you all hold a sec. Let me get you back on to what's in front of us. Beautiful glows beginning to come up a little bit. Sun's coming up, getting a little cast off the clouds. So everything is lightening up somewhat. Just to give you a quick idea of where we are for those that were not on yesterday. This is Miami Beach here in front of us. This little small section and this section just right here. This is the Miami Beach section. And just to clarify for those that are, may not be familiar with it, the above section is Enterprise Beach. This was all called Enterprise area originally. There was no beach here. You see, you used to go right up the cliffs. You mentioned that yesterday, but some of you may be new on board. Some of you may not have joined us then. Um, but above here is known as Enterprise Beach. This was all seawater. When I was a kid, you see, you used to come up and splash on the cliffs here. There were no trees. There was no sand. However, this groin was laid by... The Barbados Coast Guard, someone yesterday reminded me of the right word for it. It was an accidentally formed beach because this was not the intentions when this was laid. It was laid to shelter the Coast Guard vessels that used to come in um, just below here. Let me see if I can get you to that. This is the section where the Coast Guard vessels were supposed to come in between these two concrete slabs. And this is where they were used to dock. They did for a little while, but then the dredging became um, too difficult and too costly. And therefore, they relocated themselves to Fort Willoughby and Bridgetown. And now they're down by the harbor on the Mighty Griner Highway, better known as the Spring Garden Highway, or I should say formerly known as the Spring Garden Highway. There are a million webcams here today. So if you are peeping at me, I am also peeping at you. And I'm pointing at you as well. And I'm going to give you a wave so you know that I'm seeing you as well. I am walking out of the line of both of them, hopefully to keep myself out of Mr. Ray Corp's sights. Okay, you know he's going to tell me a whole set of junk. You can tell me something about my short pants today and about what, some walrus or something. I don't know what he's seeing. His vision is obviously in a pair because it's Charles Atlas that's moving just below here. For those that you do not know who Charles Atlas is, you can call me Arnold, last name. You don't have to call Schwarzenegger. You can just say warrior, Arnold the warrior. This is the NCC facility. They have um, some showers down below here. We also have all the restrooms just above this section here. Ladies and gents, of course, it is manned. Um, they open at different times of the day and at different times of the year, their times will change. As you can see here, uh, April to September, 8.30 until 5.30. October to March, 8 until 5. However, the showers are always open. So if you're up here at any time outside of these times, you actually don't need to use that facility in there. You can always still get a shower. It's a beautiful morning. Morning, my dear you. All right, so we're going to make our way in the direction below. Um, actually, I have a different route we're going to take today. Behind this wall is the police station for Oystens. It's one of the bigger police stations on the island. Um, it has been here for a while now. Originally, Coast Guard Station was in this uh, location as well, but as I said, that has changed. All the sections have been taken up by the police now. Um, on the beach, Mr. Delicious, that was Mr. Delicious, I'm not too sure the name now. Still offering the same things as before, like fish cakes and fish cutters and all types of local and tropical treats, um, water, whether it's liquid-wise or food-wise, um, they are here as well. So you can come, they are open. I don't know what their opening hours are. I really haven't checked up on that too much. Um, however, if you want this type of facility here, you want to come and spend the day at Miami Beach or Enterprise Beach, this is the place to do so. As you can see once again, our Enterprise and Miami Beach Queen, she is hiding from me. I got in contact with her yesterday. Now this is not true, but I'm still gonna make it out to be because this is my story and I'm gonna tell it the way I want it. And told her I would not ask her to challenge me because I know she is not 
ready, physically fit or able, but she still wouldn't turn up this morning. So I, I hope, Rachel, if you're on board this morning, I am once again insulting you. So you better come down here and defend yourself and represent yourself in front of all these people. Now this is Casper's bar is open. I actually don't even know if it's officially open because I haven't been here after uh, daylight times. I have no, I've passed here and seen it open a couple of times when I ventured into this area in the evening. But I don't know the consistency of the opening hours and stuff. But that's under development as you can see. They're graveling the, um, the area out front for the sitting area. I am sure that by the time season comes this will look completely different with umbrellas and stuff. Actually looking forward to seeing that as well to give you another option out here if you would like to eat or drink or be merry. So we're going to take the public thoroughfare that comes from one of them that comes from Oystens. The reason I'm starting up here is just want to point out a couple of things that we don't actually get to see. Um, there's one of interest that I would like to share with you just for your, just to wet your appetite. Good morning, how are you this morning? Can I flash this in your direction? You can wave at the world. Can we do a live broadcast? Would that be okay? Okay, here we go. Look, see, this is what you call friendly Bajans. Thank you so much, my dear. How are you this morning? You good? All right, I hope you have a blessed day, okay? Thank you. All right, so that is, as you can see, Barbadian hospitality. Everyone has it. It's because we want to welcome you to this island. We want to share the beauty of Barbados. Not just the scenic beauty, but the personalized beauty that comes from within our hearts and souls. So everyone usually wants to give a little a shout and cheer. Sometimes we encounter a couple of people who are conscious of the camera who really don't. It's not that they don't want to spread their love and joy to you. It just is that they're very uncomfortable in front of the cameras. That's pretty much like me. As you know, I don't like to go in front of a camera. It's very awkward for me. Um, I'm a very, very shy guy. I don't really talk much. I try to keep a low profile. I try to hide in the shadows. I don't like to be out in front of any light. So you will see that I don't talk too much and that I do not like camera time. Um, it is just the way I live, really. Uh, I don't really like to be in front of a camera at all, you know, because I'm pretty conscious of myself, you know, so I tend not to switch a cap. Oh, shoot, hold on a second, one minute. That didn't go well with the story. I tend not to switch a camera around on me too often. But when it does happen, remember that we have already had private lessons. We've also conducted detentions because the people attending attend the lessons did not learn that I have camera time, I do not show off. So please remember that if you get yourself caught in that uh, frame of mind and talking about show off around me, even if you're referring to someone else, if you don't clarify it, it's about someone else, you're going back in detention again. You can imagine sitting with me on a one-on-one -on -one for an hour <laughs> just bear that in mind so if you decide to go down that road that is what you will receive that is your actual trophy because anyone that sits with me for an hour on a one-on-one -on -one has been you know privileged and treated to some special special attention all right so this is where we come on to the actual highway 7 it's going to get busy now i was thinking to myself this morning ted the other day said he's the barefoot uh tour guide i had to call myself the bare pack tour guide because not many people walk through town at this time of day and you know this traffic most of it will stop uh, most of it will pause a lot of people blow horns and stuff because they just want to celebrate my beauty with the world um, so they'll try and get into the attention as well and capture the camera all right so over there is what we call harvest mark um, what i want to point out to you are two different things out there is erica's variety which is over there you can get everything that you get in a mini mart supermarket they have op they open every day seven days a week um, they have varying times on bank holidays, you will find them open as well. And right next to them, on the right hand side, besides other businesses that are there, is Crumbs. Crumbs is a fast, or I should say, is fastly becoming one of the most popular pastry outlets in the island. You will find them in uh, Bridgetown, Oysens, Pelican Village, Spikestown, you will find them all over this island. Crumbs has become very, very popular in Barbados. So they're spreading all over the island and the quality is great. I usually stop every Sunday. On the route to feed my dogs and buy a few pastries for my sister and the guys are helping her out with the maintenance and stuff. And everybody it's sort of like dungs tools and, and bungs for them before they start to get cooled down because they're absolutely delicious. We are walking in, we're gonna be walking out. We are doing some yo-yo work today. Um, so we're gonna be taking a little left turn here now. We sort of be twisting all over. We're not really going anywhere today, you know. We're just gonna be within like a few hundred yards, but you all gonna think you all are going around the island on a tour this morning. All right, so we got into the actual Oysens, real Oysens area. This is the polyclinic down below here. Um, there used to be a branch library. I'm not sure if it's still open. And above are some magistrate's courts. And then we saw the police station just behind there just now a few minutes ago. So this is everywhere that anything you want or any functioning uh, business that is necessary for towns, you will find here in Oysens as well. 
I since gained its name from a gentleman called Mr. Austin, who was a, a big landowner in this area. Um, spelt differently, of course, Oystens, O-I-S-T-A-N-S, Austin, A-U-S-T-A-N. However, it has maintained his kind of lifestyle. Mr. Austin used to drink merrily, sometimes consume way too much, have a lot of lewd behavior and stuff. Pretty much, the lewd behavior has been sort of like phased out, but the drinking and the bad behavior still continue. That's what Oystens Town is synonymous with. So we talked yesterday about the public entrance to Miami Beach section from the lower side. This is where you would park. So you would turn in as you would have seen just now when you um, come, either if you're coming from Bridgetown, just after the polyclinic, if you're coming from the airport or Civil Sands area, just prior to the polyclinic, you would turn in and then you will find your car park areas here. And this will actually take you to the steps that lead you down onto Miami Beach. The reason we're going in and out is because I want to show you some coastal beauty by all. So I want to point out a couple of things as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Notice, I am not puffing. I am not gasping for air. I just went silent for a minute because I was trying to think, what can I talk to these people about? Because I, I need some kind of nonsense to say. So anyhow, here we go. Beautiful area. Out here is seeing a lot of different um, stuff going on. License authority you see located in this general area. Um, you know, you can come up here, pay for all your cars and stuff. There's now located down in the Southern Plaza area. Um, just to give you a little bit of an elevated view of the folks that we just saw. I'll get you a little glossy coastline, don't worry. I don't think I'm going to leave you here looking this far away from it. I'm just starting to take a little step up and down to enjoy. Post office, just over in the distance there, center of the camera. We'll see that from the front in a few minutes. Um, I'm not going to walk right through the section here, or maybe I will. I don't know what I'm doing yet, so we will see. I just walk where I'm staring, you know, and I talk pretty much what I am uh, sort of like guided into me or um, you know, when I talk about uh, this nonsense, well, of course, that is me, myself, making a fool of myself. But then when I come with anything that's spiritual and stuff, that is actually relayed through me to be presented in my own way. Um, I am blessed. God has given me a lots of blessings, and I'd like to share them with you. You can see the clarity of the water this morning. Now, a few weeks ago, this would have been green with sargasm. All of the ocean would be green. You wouldn't have seen these different blues. Um, you wouldn't have been able to see the reef in these general areas. It would have been green and brown. So you can see how it's clearing up. We're coming to the end of sargasm season. Even if we get a little float, which we did yesterday, um, it goes quickly. It doesn't stay around long and it doesn't discolor the water. So I would say we're getting into good time now for the South Coast. I know there are people going to say, we don't handle bad times the West Coast. But I have photographs and videos of sargasm on the West Coast. So if you want to go down that road, I will safely and happily put them up for you. Beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Look at the glows in that water. Look at how beautiful this is. Notice I'm not turning the camera right around because there's something I don't want you all to see. Because you always start talking about that and I really don't want to hear about that today at all. So I'll wait like any shadows. And then I'll turn the camera in this direction. Rainbow people, rainbow. Those of you that like to see that, have a look. It's starting to form. It is just beautiful. Don't know if we'll get a whole one today. Not too sure, but we will be following that as that starts to build and progress beyond. Now in Oysens, there were some, obviously many, many events because it's a very historical town. However, the most important one was the Charter of Barbados that was signed here in 19, um, sorry, in 1652. It was signed at the Mermaid's Inn. Um, that was a charter that allowed the Barbadian um, Parliament um, to decide about land taxes and land ownership without actually having to get the approval from the British Council. Um, there was a large blockade that was here from October of 1651 until January of 1652. Um, there, the Barbados defences were impenetrable. So although they were British, they could not get to the island um, because of all the cannons and stuff. It's a heavily fortified area. And therefore, they actually put a blockade around the island, sort of like to starve it so they could get them to make an agreement. However, they came to a mutual agreement and decided to let or to give in to what the local um, magistrates and government here on the island and governor on the island um, wanted and of course they said that was for the authority for land taxes and land ownership and also to trade with the Dutch Antilles as well which was forbidden sort of like by, by Great Britain. These are authentic cannons. These are some of the ones that have been recovered from the water just off of here where we just were. There are many of them still in the water unfortunately. A lot of them are rolling about out there. Well they don't roll about. These things are super heavy. But um, these are some authentic cannons. As I mentioned before, this is the post office. 
Now, if you are a karaoke singer, I don't sing at karaoke because my voice is too good. I like to sing um, you know, only in front of microphones and to audiences that are buying me coffee and cheese. Um, but if you do sing karaoke, if your voice is not as good as mine, let's say, this is one of the main karaoke sections here, this bar. Um, you, this is where you'll find a lot, a lot of people hanging out. Although this is not the actual heart of Oysins, um, where all the activity is, this place is usually very, very heavily attended. Um, one of the stopping areas in actual Oysins town itself. Are we going to make our way back down? If I get splashed this morning, don't worry about it. I have on my super baggy trunks. So I'm not too worried about getting wet this morning. So if these vehicles pass by, you hear, oh shoot. That's only because I'm worrying about the camera. Not because of me, because I'm a warrior. Everything goes off of me. I, I actually have like a body shield on me, force field, that runs all around me. So it protects me from any of those things. This is our main bus depot. It doesn't look like anything really called a depot, but it certainly is. Um, this is our main bus depot here in Oystens Town. So if you're again a bus from Spikestown or from Bridgetown coming to Oystens, this is where you will get off or board. As you can see, they have a little depot office above here. That's the blue building. How are you all guys going? And they also have over here where the buses tend to stop and turn as well. So if you're coming up to Oystens, remember this is the bus depot. Don't come apart all over the place unless it's late on night when they're not really running frequently or they don't have as many buses coming through. All types of stuff here in the island. Um, over here in Oysins, you find a lot of souvenirs. You also find a lot of ground provisions. Um, any of the hard, little hardware things like buckets and brooms and stuff are sold in that general area over there where you see the tented section. I am not too sure. I haven't investigated it, but this is called Bajanopoly. Like you would know, Monopoly. This is Bajanopoly. I don't know exactly um, who has actually designed the game or what, but that's something that you can always look up on Google if you're interested. I will also do a little investigation on it if I find time because you all are keeping me so busy that it's incredible. All right, so this artistry has been done. I'm going to come over here and I know there are many of you that know who's actually done the painting and this amazing artwork here. Um, but I would like to give you a little recognition as I'm passing because this is beautified, this whole area. Before we pass here, all you would have seen was bins with all kind of uh, white garlands and birds flying around and absolute litter everywhere. It has been beautified by an artist here. This is what you'll find more and more going on in Barbados. Barbados, believe it or not, can get more beautiful and it is becoming more beautiful. Absolutely lovely mural. Streets are a little bit busy now. I've had a lot of people that are not comfortable with the camera. So we're going to move down onto the beach area. As I said, it's not been too long this morning. Just want to actually come out and just give you somewhere that we can all come together and say good morning and thank you for the blessings of life today. And that's basically what we do every day. Sometimes we extend a little bit longer, but this morning we can keep it a little bit shorter because the town is getting busy. And as I said, I am seeing some um, people are not too happy about the camera. So I don't really want to make anyone uncomfortable. That's not what we do. That's not our aim for sure. Beautiful beach here. A lot of you that come party in Oysens probably don't even realize this beach sits behind here. Or on a night when you come here, you don't come on the back and have a look at it. Uh, or if you do look at it, you may not realize how big it is. But this is the section behind where you will party, etc. I know some of you must be saying, wait, that don't look like oysters. Where are the thousands of people are up there? Where is the heavy duty music that usually comes on and pounds? Remember, this is morning thing. You won't really find much that going on right now. You'll just find the fisher folk and anyone that's going from point A to point B that's using the bus depot above, they will come here and uh, hang out a little bit. But this morning with the rain and stuff, you won't find anyone sitting really out here. But usually there are a couple of people in this general area. Oysters Jetty, we talked about yesterday. Um, they do feed the turtles over there. So there are a couple of guys that do offer swimming with the turtles, so they'll feed them and let you swim with them. Um, I'm not too sure of who they are. It's not a big organization or a company. They're just one or two individuals that offer it from there. So you can always ask in Oysters Town and people can direct you to who it will be. Unfortunately, we're going to be walking underneath a, a big sea grape bush. A big bush that resembles a tree, but as we know already, trees are beautiful things. Sea grapes are bushes. So this is a, a, a bush here that's in front of us. So we're going to just walk under it for a few minutes. As you can see, you can also rent your beach chairs here if you so desire to come to this beach. 
it doesn't smell like a fish market all the time, but most of the time it does. So I would recommend that if you come here that you are tolerant of fish. Do not be a vegan and come to Oysins to come to this beach because you will most definitely not have a comfortable day and your nose will definitely have a bad response for you. So don't come here. You come here only if you're not a vegan. Well, just to let you know though, I am not a vegan any longer, so that is why I'm here now. But we went in the sea. I am not passing here without going this water this morning. No way. Coming up the south coast, I saw all the outer reef off of um, St. Lawrence Lagoon, just like a lake, nothing breaking on it. All we get is a little bit of a shore break here, nothing really, no swell in the outside section. A um, couple of little ones coming in, hold a sec. Yeah, I do a little, a little bunk here. I don't know if you noticed, I jumped about 10 feet in the air. I, this gimbal is amazing because when I looked at the camera, I really wasn't seeing that happening, but just to let you know, and as I told you before, Nick is always right, Nick only talks the truth. Um, I jumped about 10 feet in the air. I actually went way out of the water and came back in. But I did it so gracefully because I'm highly trained, as you all would know. Beautiful though. There's Miami Beach again, looking from this side. Can't see Enterprise anymore. Can't see Enterprise anymore. I'm just trying to define which are the two beaches. A lot of people call it all Miami Beach. That is not really correct. You can go to Miami Beach and go lay down Enterprise Beach, but no one when they come there and say, oh, I love Miami Beach. I can correct you for sure. You know me, everything has to be accurate. Everything must be accurate. I don't talk untruths. Uh, this morning, I noticed that everyone was so loving and kind and sweet to me. I would say they were getting on as they normally do. They are tricking me. They, yesterday, they pulled the wool over my eyes and I said, they then stabbed me with vicious comments. All right, so a little bit of a waterborne 360 for you. Don't want to make you dizzy, so we're going to rotate in a different direction now. So here we go. That was actually a circle of love, which was done in the 360 style. I had to reprimand someone yesterday. They went into my in need of a strike. If they're on this morning, if I even see they were watching, they're going to get a strike because they went to mislead all the public and said, he said it was going to be a love 360. No, I did not. I said a 360, but you can get a love 360 or a 360. It depends on how I want to word it at the time. If I talk in it, it's a 360. If I uh, do it otherwise in silence, it is a circle of love this is a typical glass uh, sorry an ice boat this will go out sometimes for days on end as you would remember if you were on the vlog with me with van roy my my waterborne brother um he had explained that the times they go out for like 10 12 days two weeks and just go off shores and do fishing i don't know what these guys are up to today but that is one of the ice boats you can see the large storage area just in the back section it's painted in blue and um, they will fill that with ice from the second jetty dung which is the um sort of like utilities jetty and then it will go out for days on end. Sometimes you just go out for daytime catches or whatever. You'll see the smaller boats that don't carry any of the ice facilities. They will just go in the morning, come back in the afternoon. Some of them haul fish pots. Some of them haul trammel nets. Some of them go out and do some line fishing. But the fleet is very, very different. You can see by the different sizes and stuff that are out here. I cannot see the front of this camera at the moment. So I know you can see what is in front of you. So. We're not going to talk about me. We're going to talk about that person that's called the Beijing Warrior, the most handsome and incredible person around, the most lovable and affectionate person in the world. We just want to talk about him for a few minutes because, you know, he's a really good friend of mine. And those of you that are not familiar with what he, what he looks like, he looks identical to me, just the same way as I am. So I guess I would have to share the beauty with him. He can't get all the gold medals. I think we share that gold medal together. You know, I hope you all had a fun this morning. As I said, it's not going to be a, a real intense vlog. A lot of showers on and off. Uh, umbrellas are difficult. The crowds are a little bit difficult right now. As I said, I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable. That's the last thing that we're out to do. So we're not going to make this much longer than this. I just want to tell you that all of you for coming on this morning lifted my spirits. All of you have helped with my healing and my growth and my journey. Um, I don't expect anyone to walk my journey with me as in on the same destination or the same path. But I want you to walk your journey with me. And you come with me, you bring your healing, 
you bring your joy. I can't heal you. There's nothing I can do to heal you. You have to come in here and open your heart and open your soul and open your mind and let others help you. Just like me, I'll try my best, but you are healing me. So I thank you for coming this morning. Thank you for being a part of my life and thank you for being a part of EMC because without you, we would not be in EMC. We would just have a name on paper. You all are the body and, and the motivation and the soul and the spirit that drives our group. So please, kudos yourself, applaud yourself because without you, this wouldn't be happening. So just want to mention that. So from Barbados, from of course the Belgian warrior who is about to do his own 360 of beauty. Um, no, we're not turning the camera. I said 360 of beauty. That would be me, of course. Just so you can enjoy the background scenery. Ah, it's just a, like sort of like putting different kind of backgrounds for me. It's not really to show you anything else. Me, of course, is the most important thing right now. So from me and all of our family, we wish you all a pleasant day. We wish you peace and happiness, joy, joy that's coming from your soul. Uh, happiness that radiates from your heart and I hope that you will spread that with everyone around you this morning Remember their blessings. They're not things that we get. We don't make them ourselves They're given to us every morning blessings and that comes from me from God from you from whatever positive light you're following That's where it comes from. So remember that today we are given that and we're not giving that to keep it It's not a gift to keep but in your fridge It's a gift to spread to the world. So today, please go around spend your peace and joy and happiness with everyone Make this world a better place. I, I actually think I've turned the camera now. I, I was sorry it turned, but anyhow, no problem. We're going to do a little 360 one more time. I told you um, this time is not going to be a circle of love. This is going to be a 360, just to let you see what's going on. And so I can talk a little more because this is going to be a short vlog. And I need to exhale and get rid of some stuff that's in my mind so I can go ahead clearly think in today. Tomorrow and Thursday are off days. Does not mean you will not see anything about Barbados, but it just means that you may not see anything about Barbados. But we will put something up, our birthday celebrations. We will also put up some other photos and stuff, pen, uh, pending time. Um, but we will put up at least one or two um, photos that you will be able to say good morning to all your friends and family and have somewhere to meet. That's what we do seven days a week. Our off days are not off days. They're just days that we do other stuff. But we always include you in those. I have not heard formally, but I understand that Q and the community may be at the Worthing Food Court this coming Thursday. If that is the location and you're on the island, come and get some food, come and get some drinks, come and party with the Barbadians that know how to party Q style. Don't have to dress up pretty and fancy, just come and look pretty and fancy. You can put on a pair of baggies, up on a t-shirt and look as though you have on a three-piece suit. I do it every morning. People look at me and say, boy, that formal attire is awesome, Nick. So remember, you don't need to get functionally beautiful. Just come down there, dress however you are, and be comfortable and enjoy life. So from Oyston Stone, from Barbados, from the EMC gathering, from all of our family, from all of our members, we greet you um, with kisses and hugs from Barbados. Of course, that's where they originate from. And we hope you have a peaceful day. See you all later.